Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor. And we're getting classy again. Yes, we're getting classy once again here at the Stately Vaughn Manor. We're going to be talking about my Library of America collection, my collection of books from the Library of America. I promised to do this a while back, and I'm just now getting to it. I'm slow that way. So I don't have a ton of books from the Library of America, but I do have a fair amount of them. Uh, it's a publisher I like an awful lot. They make great, high-quality, compact, hardcover books. And I used to have them all on a bookshelf towards the back of the house, but then construction happened, and everything changed back there, and I packed all this stuff away. And I have to find a new place for them, and I haven't yet. So I'll just go ahead and show you them now. I am missing one, because I must have put it in the wrong box. And the one I'm missing is uh, the tales and poems of Edgar Allan Poe, the complete stories and poems of Edgar Allan Poe. I have a, a few different editions of that, but the Library of America version of it is probably the best. It's probably the best you can get. So, you know, get that one if you get a chance. It's excellent. Everything else I seem to have here. Now, I am waiting on a few. I'm waiting on, uh, I just ordered, what did I order? The anthology set the west the westerns volume that they have with a selection of western novels i'm waiting on that i'm waiting on their new fitzgerald volume i'm waiting on the new hemingway volume everything else is here and so i'm just not going to wait for that stuff to show up i'll show you what i've got because this is going to be time consuming as it is oh well what do you do so this is what they look like normally very simple covers. I kind of wish they were less simple, but, you know, they're classy. They're classy, these guys. So this is the Raymond Chandler version, or edition, and I love their Raymond Chandler set. I've read it a few times. So this is what these volumes look like. I will read you from the back what the Library of America is. The Library of America a nonprofit publisher is dedicated to preserving the works of America's greatest writers in handsome, endearing volumes featuring authoritative texts. And there's a little note about the construction of these things. Library of America editions will last for generations and withstand the wear of frequent use. They are printed on lightweight, acid free paper that will not turn yellow or brittle with age. Sewn bindings allow the books to open easily and lie flat. Flexible yet strong binding boards are covered with a closely woven rayon cloth. The page layout has been designed for readability as well as elegance. And now I have to say, these volumes do hold up. If you want to know how well they hold up, you can just go to the Berkeley Public Library and see the beat to hell copies they've got there. These things have been thrown at the wall, they've been stomped on, people have dumped food on these things. Everything bad that can happen to a book has probably happened to the Library of American Volumes in that library. And they still hold up. You can still read them. You know, you just have to read them through the spaghetti sauce stains. But fortunately, my editions are in better condition than that. And this is one of them. This is Raymond Chandler, F Stories and Early Novels. This has pulp stories. Has a selection of his pulp stories, The Big Sleep, Farewell, My Lovely, and The High Window. Raymond Chandler is one of my very favorite writers. So I was really happy to get this. This is the only edition of Chandler I've ever had, really. I've got an annotated edition of The Big Sleep, but that's it. This is really all you need. It's a two-volume set. This is the second Chandler volume. And this has some good stuff in it. It has the rest of his Philip Marlowe novels, Lady in the Lake, The Little Sister, The Long Goodbye, and Playback. But it also has the screenplay for Double Indemnity, because he worked in Hollywood as a screenwriter for a while. And it has selected essays and letters. So there's a lot of cool stuff in these two volumes, and I highly recommend it. And like I said, you get these two volumes, you don't need anything else from Chandler. Another couple volumes that are really good is an author that probably isn't read enough anymore, and that's John O'Hara. And this is a selection of his novels, Appointment at Samara, which I've talked about before. I love that book. Butterfield Ape, Hope is Heaven, and Pal Joey. 
So an excellent selection of John O'Hara's novels. But maybe even more impressive is this volume of his short stories. He was, he was incredible at writing short stories. His short stories were something. They used to be very, very, very popular, these stories. Now you can get them in this set. There is a volume called New York Stories, I believe, from Penguin. This is probably the edition to get at the moment. So you get these two volumes from the Library of America. You're set or no, huh? Yeah, he's excellent. I've got some box sets here to show you before I move on to my first good size box over there. I've got Women Crime Writers. This is an interesting set and I was happy to get it. You have authors in here from Vera Caspare, Helen Eustace, Dorothy B. Hughes is in here, uh, Mischief by Charlotte Armstrong, Beast in View by Margaret Miller. A lot of excellent books in this two volume set. So a bunch of cool novels in this set from women crime writers. This has uh, the 1940s and the 1950s in there. I've also got their set of horror stories, which is American Fantastic Tales, American Fantastic Tales. This is in two volumes, Poe to the Pulps and 1940s to Now. I kind of feel like they should have titled that something else since this was published in 2009 and it's not 2009 anymore. Oh well, that was short-sighted, but the volumes themselves are excellent and I highly recommend them. This set was edited by Peter Straub, who is a good editor for this kind of thing. Next, I've got two box sets. The first one is American Science Fiction, nine classic novels from the 1950s. I was really happy to see this because Library of America didn't do too much with science fiction. They have a uh, Philip K. Dick set and a Ursula K. Le Guin set now. But other than that, not much. So this was very welcome. And it's a selection of novels. First volume is 1953 to 56. Second novel, second, second volume. Second volume is 1956 to 1958. All kinds of good stuff in here. Got More Than Human by Theodore Sturgeon. The Long Tomorrow by Leigh Brackett. The Shrinking Man by Richard Matheson. I mean, all kinds of cool stuff. The Stars, My Destination by Alfred Bester. So it really does have some of the best science fiction novels from the 1950s. They followed that up with the 1960s, another two volume set from the 1960s, full of really cool 1960s science fiction novels. They even got uh, This Immortal by Roger Zelazny's in here. Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. Waystation by Clifford D. Samak. So good stuff in here. I'm not sure if they're going to do a 1970s version of this, but it would be really welcome if they would do that. So let me put these down and I'll get my first big box. Okay, I'm going to, I'm interrupting my own video just so you can get a look at the inside of these books if you've never seen one before, uh, a Library of America volume. Here you go. So this is the how it's laid out basically. Very thin pages, but they need thin pages so these volumes can be so compact. So they, can, they could have a thousand page volume, for example, that doesn't take up a ton of space. I like the text on these. I like the page layout. Uh, so, and I don't mind the thin paper at all. Um, they're really nice. And I pretty much like everything about these volumes, actually. All right, let's dive right in and see what I've got in this big old box. This is box number one. So we've got Jack London, Jack London, a nice set of Jack London novels and stories. So this has his Call of the Wild, White Fang, Sea Wolf, and uh, some of his short stories are in here. So all the stuff you'd expect from London is in this volume. There is a second volume that's really interesting, Novels and Social Writings. So this second volume of London has things like People of the Abyss, The Iron Heel, and some other stuff. You can see all that stuff right there. So it's a nice set of novels. Next, Kerouac. 
Got On the Road, We're On the Road with Kerouac here, has all the road novels here from 1957 to 1960. Uh, nice set of Kerouac. If you're interested in him, you've got that one. You've also got this second volume from Kerouac that the Library of America put out. I guess it's a no-brainer that Kerouac would be published in the Library of America. Next, we've got a two-volume set of crime novels. Library of America does publish a fair amount of crime fiction, which is interesting, but they do. And this is a set of two volumes. This is the first one, American Noir of the 1930s to the 1940s. This has James M. Cain's The Postman Always Rings Twice in this volume and a bunch of other really cool crime novels from the 30s and 40s. So that's pretty cool. And that is followed up by the 1950s with a bunch more really cool crime novels. So this is a good set to have if you're interested in that sort of thing. And look, it's more crime. This is David Goody's. Actually, it's not David. Yeah, it is David Goody's. I thought maybe I got his first name wrong, but I didn't. David Goody's and his series of crime novels here, five noir novels from the 1940s and 1950s. This has Dark Passage in it, which I like an awful lot. This is a volume that I was pretty happy to see. I was glad to see Goodies get into the Library of America. That's really cool. Almost as cool as these. Look, it's more crime. It's Ross MacDonald. They did a three volume set, Library of America did, of Ross MacDonald and his Lou Archer detective novels. This is four novels of the 1950s. So this doesn't, this three volume set doesn't collect every Lou Archer novel. I wish they had made a bigger set and did collect every Lou Archer novel, but the ones in this collection are probably the best ones, probably. So that's the first volume. Then they followed that up with three, three novels of the 1960s, more Ross MacDonald. And finally, they concluded with four later novels from Ross MacDonald. I highly recommend all of these volumes. This guy, if you've not if you have not read this guy's books, you should read them. They're awesome. They're great. I mean, it's really detective fiction at its best, really. Here's something different. It's Shirley Jackson. It's Shirley Jackson. This has novels and stories, including The Lottery and The Haunting of Hill House and some other creepy stuff. I was really happy to see Shirley Jackson get into the Library of America. She is very deserving. So this is really cool. They followed that up with four novels of the 1940s and 50s. So Shirley Jackson, great writer. She's one of my favorite writers. She's in my top 20. If I ever do a top 20 list, she'll be in there. Shirley Jackson, great stuff. Really glad Library of America decided to do two volumes uh, from her. Uh, she really, really deserves it. This next one I got just recently. This is Ray Bradbury, another guy that really deserved to get into the Library of America, Ray Bradbury. And this has his science fiction fantasy type stuff. This has the Martian Chronicles, Fahrenheit 451, Dandelion Wine, and Something Wicked This Way Comes. Great volume from Ray Bradbury. Really happy to see this. This one is interesting. I don't have the dust jacket for this one because I got this used, but it's a really good volume. This is Charles Brockton Brown with three of his Gothic novels. Not sure if you can read them or not. Uh, what's in here? Wayland, Arthur Mervyn, or a Memorial of the Year 1793, Edgar Huntley, or Memoirs of a Sleepwalker. So creepy old stuff from Mr. Brown here. But if you want really creepy stuff, here you go. Of course, this is somebody that really deserves to be in here. And I was so happy. One of my very favorite writers of all time, H.P. Lovecraft, made it into the Library of America. He deserves it. Finally, he got some respect. This is his volume, Tales. It is probably the best one volume H.P. Lovecraft you can get that isn't a complete volume. It has almost everything though. It has everything good. With the exception, I think, who, who edited this? Peter Straub edited this and he did a really good job, but I think he should have had the hound in here. That's probably the only omission 
that's glaring. Everything else that's good from Lovecraft is in here. Uh, so yeah, Lovecraft Tales, fantastic volume. I love it, obviously. This next volume is really interesting. This is The American Revolution, writings from the War of Independence, drawn from letters, diaries, newspaper articles, public documents, contemporary narratives, and private memoranda, all from the, all from the time. And all of that is put together to tell the story of the American Revolution, and it's really, really fascinating. It's a good size volume, too. How big is this? Most of their volumes run from about 800 to 1,300 pages. Uh, lots of index in this one, but it looks to be about 800 pages long. So, yeah, really interesting. I do highly recommend this volume. Next, more American history. This is one of the earlier volumes from Library of America. This is Thomas Jefferson. All of his really important writings is collected in this really bulky book. Uh, excellent, excellent volume. If you're interested in Thomas Jefferson, you should probably get this. He has a lot in this book, a lot of, this, a lot of his best stuff, autobiography, notes on the state of Virginia, public and private papers, addresses, letters, all kinds of stuff from Jefferson. If you're interested, there it is. And next, an early American novelist and the Leather Stocking Tales, James Fenimore Cooper's Leather Stocking Tales. We've got The Pioneers, Last of the Mohicans, and The Prairie in this volume, which is followed by The Pathfinder and The Deerslayer. So Library of America prints these in the order of publication as opposed to the chronological order of the novels. But if you're interested in the Deerstalker saga, and you should be because it's an interesting series of novels, here you go. That's really cool. Next, we've got Stephen Crane. Stephen Crane, the guy who wrote A Red Badge of Courage, also wrote all this other stuff. And you can get it all here in the Library of America volume. This is a really nice really good volume to have. It's really interesting. Maggie, A Girl of the Streets, if you haven't read it, is a really interesting book to read. So there's that. This next one I was really happy to see when they published it, and that would be Ambrose Bierce. This is The Devil's Dictionary Tales and Memoirs from Ambrose Bierce. This is edited by S.T. Joshi, the guy who edited all the horror stuff practically for Penguin. A famous H.P. Lovecraft scholar, S.T. Joshi, and he did a wonderful job with this. This was his first Library of America volume, I believe, Ambrose Bierce. Excellent volume. It's really good. Again, I recommend all this stuff. Now, here's a writer that, for some reason, nobody reads anymore, and she was a critic, but she also wrote novels, and that's Mary McCarthy. Mary McCarthy this has novels and stories 1942 to 1963. This is great. Uh, again, highly recommended, this volume, uh, Mary McCarthy. Uh, really interesting set of novels there. And Library of America followed that up with a second volume, novels 1963 to 1979. So if you've never read anything from her, you should, you should read some of her books. She's really good. Is that everything? That's everything in this volume. Hold on, guys. Okay, more books. So this next one is actually the first Library of America volume that I ever bought. And that is this one. This is Dashiell Hammett, Complete Novels from Dashiell Hammett. Has every all of his novels in there, just like it says. Wonderful writer, Dashiell Hammett. Great mystery and detective novel writer. He wrote some great st short stories as well. He was a private detective and he put a lot of his own knowledge and history of his uh, detective career into these novels and stories. Excellent stuff. And he, he had an, a really influential prose style. Very influential, actually. So that was the first volume. That's his novels. But we also have Crime Writings, or excuse me, Crime Stories and Other Writings. Crime Stories and Other Writings from Dashiell Hammett. Great stuff. Excellent. Excellent stuff in this. 
So if you have those two volumes from Hammett, you have all the Hammett you really need, and they're wonderful. Oh, look, it's Theodore Roosevelt. It's Theodore Roosevelt with his Rough Riders and autobiography. Rough Riders and an autobiography. So, yeah, if you're interested in Roosevelt, here you go. Teddy Roosevelt, that is. There he is, looking all Rough Ridery. So we got Roosevelt. We also have McCullers. Here we go. Carson McCullers there. All of her, or at least a lot of her really important stuff. Yeah, actually, this is all of her novels are in this one volume. Heart is a Lonely Hunter and all her other stuff. All her, all her other novels are in here. Again, it's been a while since I've read this one, but it was good stuff. So there you go. Of course it's good stuff. It's in the Library of America. Now this is a volume that I bought used, so it's a little beat up, but this is Das Passos. This is the USA Trilogy. The USA Trilogy, the 42nd Parallel, 1919, and The Big Money. Now you can get this in this one volume edition. I think it's still being sold. It's still in print in the three volumes, but it's nice to have the whole thing in one big volume. So there you go. USA. And another series of novels, a trilogy of novels, that are all in one volume. This is uh, James T. Farrell's Studs, Studs Lonigan trilogy, all in one volume there. Got that. Now this is really, really nice. And this is actually one of my favorite volumes from the Library of America. And that's Tales and Sketches from Hawthorne. Uh, Nathaniel Hawthorne, Tales and Sketches. This is a brilliant, a brilliant volume. I've read this whole thing through twice, and I will probably read it through again someday. Uh, his short work is really, really good. That's not, not, not to say anything against his novels, but I love, I love the short, his short fiction and his little sketches and things. That's all really, really good stuff. And of course, I've got his complete novels as well from the Library of America. So that is nice to have. Also have some Steinbeck in here. This is Novels and Stories, 1932 to 1937. So this is the volume that has Of Mice and Men in it. Uh, so yeah, also has some of his earlier stuff in here, which isn't read as often, I don't think. Then this is 1936 to 1941. This is the one with uh, the Grapes of Wrath in it. So this is a cool volume there. Then we also have 1942 to 1952. Um, this is the one with East of Eden. East of Eden is in this particular volume. So this is really cool. And of course, we got to have George Washington. George Washington wrote stuff too, and it's in here. Writings, see? There's writings in here by George Washington. Have you ever read anything from George Washington? Well, now you can in this Library of America volume. And this is a really cool volume here. This is Irving. This is uh, History, Tales, and Sketches from Washington Irving. And so this is the one that has the sketchbook in here, but this also has the history of New York in here as well, which is interesting. So some good stuff from Irving in here. Irving. And next we have old U.S. Grant. Here we go, Grant. This is personal memoirs of U.S. Grant and selected letters, 1839 to 1865. So this is, if you're interested, in his memoirs, this is probably the volume to get because you get the extra stuff in here with those letters. So there you go, Grant. Now, I only have a couple volumes from this guy. Uh, for some reason, I don't have the whole set of Vonnegut. Um, Kurt Vonnegut. I was like, what's his first name? I'm forgetting, Kurt Vonnegut. Uh, this has player piano, Sirens of Titan, Mother Night and Stories. So this is Novels and Stories, 1950 to 1962. This is the first volume in their Vonnegut set. And then 
you have the good stuff in here. This is Novels and Stories 1963 to 1973. This has uh, Slaughterhouse Five and Breakfast of Champions and uh, Cat's Cradle is in here as well. So more Vonnegut. Now there, there's at least one more book and maybe two, I don't remember, but I don't have them yet. I will get them. I just, I didn't buy this all as a set. You can get it as a box set, I believe. I believe you can. Next, we've got Herman Melville. Of course, Herman Melville. This has Typey, Omu, and Marty. This was the very first Library of America volume that was printed. So they started with Melville. It's, you know, who else are you going to start with? Well, you could have started with Hawthorne, I guess. When, when did that come out? Was this number two? Yeah, Hawthorne was number two. It could have been number one, but number one was Melville. And this is excellent. That's the first volume of his collected fiction. Next one here has Redburn, White Jacket, and Moby Dick. Moby Dick's in this volume. And then all the other stuff is published in here, which I, I got this used for cheap cheap and it had this taped up cover and i thought everything else is okay with this volume i guess i could live with the taped up cover but now i'm thinking maybe i should have just bought it new but you know why that's just me being you know me but this has everything else in here the rest of melville is in here only a couple more how about that in here we have got Frederick Douglass, uh, this is probably the Frederick Douglass volume to get because it has the autobiographies, narrative of the, of the life, my bondage and my freedom and life in times. So this is, like I said, if you're interested, this is probably the Frederick Douglass volume to pick up. Excellent volume, fascinating stuff right here. So there's that. And the last one, the last one so far is Fitzgerald, one of my favorite writers. Again, he'd be in my top 20. This is Novels and Stories 1920 to 1922. This has This Side of Paradise, Flappers and Philosophers, The Beautiful and the Damned is in here, and Tales of the Jazz Age. Now there is a second volume that was just printed recently that I'm waiting on. I just ordered it. Uh, because I, I got to thinking, you know, I should do that Library of America video, even though it's going to be hella long. And so, yeah, Fitzgerald, I love this guy. I love this guy's writing. I know he's not everybody's favorite, but I love him. So, Fitzgerald, there you go. And like I said, I'm waiting on the sequel to that, and I'm waiting on Hemingway, and I'm waiting on uh, The West, and I'm going to get the Ursula K. Le Guin set as well. I'm going to get more of this Library of America, and I'll just get a bigger bookshelf. Anyway, I've gone on way too long. So if anybody is left, thanks, guys, for hanging out, and I will catch you next time.